Hello, I'm Brian Sudinga. I'm Product Manager GYTR Yamamoto Europe. Today I will tell you something about the new YZ250F GYTR bike. But first I will explain to you a little bit more about GYTR. I get the question sometimes, what is GYTR? What does it stand for? Well, GYTR stands for Genuine Yamaha Technology Racing. That means that our GYTR engineers work close together with race teams and riders to come to the best performance result. So this is the power of GYTR. The parts are plug and play. That means if you install the parts on the bike, you can immediately go to the track and race it. The biggest benefit is actually is that you are saving time of not going to a tuner and also saving money of spending time and money on a tuner, which the end result might be not good or maybe even engine failure. We tested a lot on these products, on track and dyno, to have a guarantee that's a liable product with a lot more power on the race bike. I will tell you a little bit more about the GYTR product for the YZ250F 2021 model. We have a GYTR high performance kit this year. That's new compared to the other years. Because it's a kit the parts together. And what is the content of the kit? I will tell you. The content of the GYTR kit is the cylinder head. The GYTR cylinder head has improved porting on intake and exhaust, but also GYTR camshafts with a different kind of profile and a different lift. It has a modified manifold on the intake and together with the high compression piston of GYTR, it gives you a better performance. This year we added some new stuff like the power flow kit from GYTR. This improves the airflow in the airbox because if you need more performance, you would like to give more fuel, but you need more air. So we found a solution for that with a new filter cage and a new filter. And on top of that, we also include the Vortex ECU with a GYTR map. And all together this, it will have a GYTR kit. Much more performance and still liable. Another new thing we have this year is a GYTR exhaust. This exhaust can be used on a standard bike and improves in performance all over linear to the top. So it gives you better torque and, and much more horsepower. And now I will tell you some highlights about other GYTR parts installed on this bike. As you maybe have seen before, we got the GYTR clutch cover. On the other side, we have also the ignition cover. What's the benefit of the GYTR clutch cover? It's a billet clutch cover with a hard coating anodized and we call it gunmetal coating. It's a nice GYTR logo on the outside and it remains in the same shape for a long time. So it looks good and it's stronger. That's the benefit of the GYTR clutch cover and ignition cover. We have also the Amex glide plate from GYTR, which is made out of HDPE. This glide plate protects the engine from the lower side, but still offers you a lot of coolant and air coolant so that the engine remains cool, that the oil temperature doesn't go up too quickly. It has good protection also on the water coolant hose on this side. Beside that, we got the factory racing replica wheels. These wheels, they have stronger spokes and have a CNC billet machined hub with a very strong axle rim. It's the same wheel they use for the factory racing teams. Another part which we have is the seat cover. It's also the factory racing replica seat cover. It has additional ribs to prevent from sliding on the seat. It has more grip than a standard seat. This seat, you can also make it higher and lower, but you have to get it as an extra piece for the seat. The cover, you can mount on all these seats together. So we have also GYTR levers. These levers, ergonomical shape, for the rider. It's a bit better than a standard lever. 
it has more adjustable features and if you crash the bike it falls away. It's a big benefit and it saves also a bit in spare part cost as you can use it many times. And of course it's nice GYTR branded. Beside that another part which we have for GYTR is the GYTR axle block. It's a small piece. Maybe you will say what is this piece special about? Well this GYTR axle block has an offset. So that means during qualifying you can quickly change the wheel with the rear sprocket one teeth higher or lower to have better grip or timing on your qualifying. So if you take out the block and you turn 180 degrees, it's ready to go. A small detail which we have is the GYTR bracket to secure the Yamaha oil plug. This if you secure with safety wire, it will prevent of losing the oil plug. Another part which we have for GYTR is the GYTR radiator cap. It's the radiator cap 2.0. That means the radiator cap guarantee pressure till 2.0 bar. What's the benefit of that? Well actually when the engine is getting very warm, heating up the coolant, normally the pressure rise and then the coolant gets out. Standard is about 1.4 bar. With this GYTR cap we increase the opening pressure which will hold the coolant for a short time when the engine is becoming hot. This can happen during mud races or very deep sand. It will prevent loss of coolant. We have also some other parts which actually also benefits on the bike, but it's more also as coloring and enhancing the blue color on the bike. For example, we have the billet brake cover for front and rear. We got a GYTR rear brake clevis adjustment. This one adjusts you the rear brake lever a bit more than standard, which for some riders is a benefit. If you would like to have the best result, use the GYTR kit together with the GYTR access to have the maximum performance on this bike. So to summarize all, all this about GYTR, GYTR stands for reliability, plug and play, and most important, improving performance. That's the power of GYTR.